I think a lot of men think they just, you know, 100 no's is going to equal one yes somewhere along the way. Somebody's going to be desperate enough. And I think that's the real crime is that they're not trying to, you know, get a relationship. You know, it, there's nothing wrong with meeting someone on a platform, being very polite, becoming friends over time, and that grows into something else. Great. Mm -hmm. No problem there. But it's it's these really disgusting attempts to to you know these come on lines and these these attempts to um, you know get the the attention of women who most of them are going to say no right but the ones that may say yes are probably the ones that are so desperate for attention and then that's what they're looking for to prey on that and then take advantage of it mm -hmm. and there's something just pathologically wrong with that person and that approach. There is, and I think actually you've raised uh, an interesting point because, and in no way is any woman responsible for these men. Right. What I found interesting, though, is that you said about getting attention because I know, for example, that a lot of women that have young children, they become a mother it's being a mother and they don't get any attention what Anasuya what sort of um what sort of states of mind could women so you and Olivia and our other contributors are strong-minded you have come on you've shown your face and you've spoken your truth and this hopefully is going to lead something to something what I want to do as best as possible is to try and reach those girls and women. So Gazelle's very young. Um, those girls and women who, because Olivia talked about this scanning she's got, she recognizes it. What can, so what do you think the states of mind might be for ladies that respond to this? And what advice would you give the man Okay. <clears throat> suppose if it is in uh, LinkedIn mm -hmm. then uh, I will try to give them advice that uh, you just talk uh, directly that's what they want but actually directly you should go to that and because if it is Facebook some people you know it's kind of social network mm -hmm. some people are there trying to you know be more soft and they try to approach. And I, I have seen there's some re for relationship gain also, they do it. And but are also some kind. So they have to think about it. I mean, suppose if it is a mother, because I have seen one of my friends, she's a mother of one kid, as uh, so maybe six years old kid. Okay. She has a very disturbed, I'm telling all this thing because it's happening now in Facebook. She has a very disturbed uh, family life. I mean, with her husband. So she's seeking for, I mean, she's about to, you know, separating, you know, yeah. uh, phase of our, uh, that, that kind of piracy is going on. So she, she need, uh, because she, that kind of uh, time, you know, a mother, she, she needs some support company, you know, mm -hmm. there may be uh, some, maybe the friends or friends, uh, colleagues, or maybe some people, they try to give her comfort and she talks. Mm. in Facebook. I'm talking about in Facebook because it's a social platform. But in the same time, that kind of person may take advantage. Yeah. To her also, you know, because she is now single, she is single-handedly taking care of her kid and she is doing, but so if, I will suggest that kind of uh, lady or woman that you have to be very careful what you talk, what you're offering, that person, what on what context he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Is he is really reliable, loyal that, because you cannot share your every thoughts and this for whether, maybe he's good to you for some time, but you have to uh, seek for the long-term relationship also, if you're really looking for some relationship. Mm -hmm. So I will suggest her that we, you have to think about it, what, how he is talking and you just directly, you cannot just, Simply share your all your whatever your personal problems are going on. You should mm. not. Mm. Now you have to be very careful about it. What you are talking about. So let me ask you this. So I famously don't use a smartphone, 
as as you've seen before, that's my phone. And I don't want to have any part of this that everyone is stuck into at the moment. So that's fine. I'm happy to be a Luddite. With Facebook, do they automatically know your mobile number? Or is that just a thing that happens in WhatsApp? No, if you keep it in private, I mean, uh, uh, security, uh, then you, they will not know. Okay. You can, yeah, you can restrict your security. So, Olivia, one of the things that's come up in previous episodes is the idea that when people approach on Instagram or on Facebook or on LinkedIn, there's a lot of urgency to move you to WhatsApp. Yeah. Because that's yeah. your private number then. Or is it, because I don't have it, so is it a separate yeah. thing or is it your mobile number? It is your mobile number. Some people use a different number. For example, that's maybe you can use a different SIM card for your number for WhatsApp as long as they can verify it via a one-time PIN that they normally send you an SMS. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, for most people that use it, it would normally be their, their mobile number, their personal number, because it's just easier for business contact and things like that. So they do go want to basically push you from Facebook to, to WhatsApp, for example, because it's easier to use. And most people, like, for example, in our country, use WhatsApp more mm. than what they use Facebook. Yeah. Um, so Facebook goes together with WhatsApp in our country. So those are the, the most used two platforms. Um, and then there's obviously TikTok now. But... Yeah. Um, more Facebook and WhatsApp, for example. So they do want to urge you to give your personal number, but they don't use it in a way, they don't ask for it in a way where you think it's for personal purposes. Mm. So you get led into something like where they ask you for your number, if it's a business contact, for example, and then from there it progresses because now they've got your WhatsApp number, so... Now I can call you and I can yeah. speak to you and I can get hold of you, for example. And then you usually have to maybe end up blocking calls or something like that. Mm. And is it possible to actually, um, so you can block a number that's calling you yes. in, in WhatsApp. Yes. Have you ever reported people that you've blocked? No, it didn't get to the extent where I had to actually report or that I felt, for example, too threatened by it. Mm. Um, it's mostly like people that can't get to me, for example. But if it was, for example, someone stalking me nearby, for mm. example, then it would be a different case. So then I would handle it differently, for example. So there was a, um, a radio show, um, I hope I haven't told this story, I'm sure I've told it before, but there was a radio show where the presenter is on Twitter, and Twitter is extremely adversarial, it's basically binary, do, 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 people just having screaming rows. Um, but he had a post on there, and it showed his front door, which it, the person had got off Google Street View. Ooh. But how do people find out where people live? What is the secure? I don't understand this enough. Tell me about it. 